Another guideline update from the IDSA, and this is on managing complicated urinary tract infections. Finally, they've updated their terminology because for a very long time, people were saying, well, men, because they're a male, it's automatically a complicated UTI. But for a long time, we have actually not been uh, you know, treating it like this. So you can see the old complications here, uncomplicated UTI was only in women. All other UTIs were complicated. So if they're a male, it's like complicated automatically, but that's not how we clinically practice. So now the guidelines are up to date with how we practice. What I also like about here is that they confirm the total duration of antibiotic therapy for complicated UTI. And so it should be five to seven days for fluoroquinolone or seven days for non-fluoroquinolones. And this includes patients with associated gram-negative bacteremia. Some caveats to the IDSA recommendations is that most studies supporting the recommendation for five to seven days excluded patients with indwelling urinary catheters, severe sepsis, immunocompromising conditions,